So then you find out about the Theo Fellowship. So how did you find out about that? Well, that's a fascinating story. I don't know if you'd even believe that. I was watching this movie called The Social Network. Yes. And in that, I see, uh, you know, this person writing the first check for Facebook. So I think to myself, how amazing would it be if I ever get the opportunity to meet this guy? You know, he seems to be incredible. So I go to the nearby cyber cafe, which is uh, a thing, right? Which is because you did not have internet at the place I was living in at that point of time, I'd go to like a nearby store where people could use the internet and, and so on. And I find about him and, and then I see about the Thiel Fellowship and then I reach out to a few of my friends and they've heard about it as well. So I, I feel like, well, we're going to do this. Um, uh, and it had fascinating questions, right? Uh, Alexandra, questions like, you know, uh, what would you do if, um, you know, capital was not a problem? How would you change the world? Questions that you'd never be asked as a high school kid, right? Um, so I was fascinated by that. Uh, by then, actually, there were no other, there were, of course, a lot of successful Indian Americans who were a part of the TL Fellowship, uh, but there was no other Indian or Asian resident who had become a fellow. So I thought no chance I become a fellow, but I'll still apply because the questions are great. So uh, I kept applying. I actually missed the deadline to apply wow. because um, the deadline was uh, 12, um, 12 of, you know, uh, of the night or something. And funny, I felt it was game over. I'd never be able to make up for uh, filling the documents. Interestingly, and I wake up next morning and I'm like, gosh, I was trying to fill up the form. How did I crash out? And turns out time zone helped me make sure that I still got a few hours to fill the form. So I just got in at the last moment. There were a bunch of interviews. I got invited to come to the um, final uh, finalist session. I actually came just because I thought free trip to the US, I would do that, in, like I felt I'd never get to travel to the US after that. So I felt I'd go to the US just for this, but I was very lucky I became a TL fellow. And then of course, uh, OYO has also done uh, relatively um, uh, better over time. Yeah, I had read, so I, 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 one of the people that I have had on this show is um, the astronaut Sunitha Williams. And she was talking about how the first time she, you know, got in her spaceship, literally looked back and saw planet earth and i think you know if anyone hasn't heard that interview you should because you can feel the awe and wonder that we all expect we would feel by that experience but her own dad sort of came on a spaceship of his own on a boat to america to new lands and that's how their family sort of settled here and so when i read your story about the first time you used your passport was to come to basically palo alto in my neighborhood i was so excited to hear that what was that like i mean did you live in a startup house like was it was it like the startup the, the movie social network was that your expectation you know, frankly, my expectation, look, I, for me, it was quite a culture shock. I went from uh, a little town in Orissa, uh, you know, all the way to New Delhi. That was already uh, most of the culture shock I could have had. Uh, and then I suddenly come into San Francisco. It was first the city. And the first day I come, I, I distinctly remember they wanted to engage all the fellows. So we actually had a treasure hunt all oh, across the city. I love that. Around the city. Uh, we won. Um, but Yay! You made us proud. <laughs> it, was, it was it was beautiful. We um, I, I got a I got a tram I think as an award. Yeah, uh, the I little trolley. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, you know, so for me, I think all I thought was, you know, these people around myself, they look and feel like me. I yeah. have never seen people like these, so I was fascinated by all the other finalists. So I make it to the Thiel Fellowship. Um, and then few of us live at what we call as a hacker house. Um, yeah. We lived at Milbrae, uh, which uh, is great because houses are not expensive and you can get BART and Caltrain both, which is great, right? Like, uh, why would you not want it? Live in the suburbs, but still get both Caltrain and BART. So um, that's what, um, you know, was, was our early days. We were a bunch of fellows living in, at home and, um, you know, each one of those fellows are doing incredible things. I'm very inspired by them. They, 
they're truly like my, uh, if I were at university, uh, these, these were the people who I, who I would have liked to be my university friends. So I'm glad that I ran into them.